we have an oscillator uh, that's uh, CEM3340 based from nonlinear circuits. We have the 1050 mix sequencer, which is uh, based on the ARP 2500 modular mix sequencer module, which to my knowledge is unique in all of the modular synthesizers. Uh, I'll let you look it up, but the key thing is that right now we are uh, utilizing it as two four-channel sequencers, and with nothing plugged in, you get a DC voltage, um, and you can also plug in a signal here so that it becomes an event sequencer, but that's not exactly what we're doing here. Uh, we're clocking this at audio rates with this um, VCO, and just to give you an orientation, here's the pitch. That's the clock pitch. And we're going to listen to this four channel sequencer. And if you start out with nothing here, it's cycling, but you don't hear anything. So if I were to, this is actually the first channel. If I were to bring this up, what we've essentially got is a one quarter pulse, two octaves below the clock. If we bring up this one, what we effectively have is two 50% pulses that will be one octave below the clock. And again, for orientation, here's the clock, the third octave. So I've got this routed so that we're mixing all of these um, and putting them through a filter. This is the uh, CEM 1040E, uh, and it's a clone of the ARP 2500 multi-mode filter. So that's the original clock pitch, and then we'll bring in, and the difference here is we're listening to this channel where we've got one of the channels modulated by this LFO. And as it modulates, it changes between the octaves. And then add in a little bit of the original clock. Finally, add in some modulation of the filter. And that's the demo.